Hare Krishna, welcome everybody to ISKCON Toronto's celebration of Lord Balaram's appearance. We are continuing our Lord Balaram series. Yesterday we hosted His Holiness Jai Padaka Swami who gave an amazing uh, class on the mood of service and today we are continuing uh, with our classes and today's uh, guest is His Holiness Bhakti Purushottam Swami who kindly agreed to be part of our celebrations. So I'm just going to introduce Maharaj before we go uh, live with Maharaj's class. So Maharaj basically has been a part of the uh, movement since uh, his early 20s. He joined in Mayapur in India in uh, 1978, uh, taking initiation uh, from His Holiness Jai Pataka Swami. His main area of work has always been in uh, Mayapur, where he's a very, very prominent uh, figure. Uh, he has multiple zones um, that he takes care of across the world. Uh, some are uh, like Korea, South Korea, North Korea, Nepal, and so many other uh, regions. He's the co-GBC uh, and oversees uh, multiple operations in Mayapur, including the TOVP. One of the qualities of Maharaj that I personally really like, he's a great storyteller. His knowledge of the uh, scriptures and the pastimes of Lord Krishna um, is uh, so much in depth and he his classes are really uh, very engaging and he, he tells the stories really nicely. Uh, it's one of his very special quality. Uh, we recently, uh, I think a couple of years ago, had a chance to host him in Toronto uh, where we heard from him the stories of and pastimes of Lord Jagannath. Uh, Maharaj uh, is not only a great orator and gives uh, very, um, you know, detailed classes, but he also has written uh, several books in English and some books in Bengali as well. Uh, Maharaj's interest has always been in taking care of the uh, the tribal uh, communities and he's actually instrumental in uh, setting up uh, the India Tribal Care Trust. Maharaj is known for his uh, work with the tribals, particularly in the Northeast um, Indian communities and also all other uh, places in India. And I really encourage all of you to go and check his website, uh, the India Tribal Care Trust, where he uh, is doing an outstanding job with uh, these communities. They, uh, they impart education. Uh, they have about 20 schools that they manage, providing health care, water, food for life, and so much more. So he's really um, engaged in bringing Krishna consciousness in very unique ways to these uh, tribal communities. And it is a great honor to have Maharaj uh, talk to us today and he will be talking to us about uh, various stories and pastimes of Lord Balaram uh, to get us into the mood for the big festival tomorrow. Uh, Maharaj will be speaking to us from Mayapur and we're really looking forward to hearing from you Maharaj. So please welcome to our virtual uh, studio here from ISKCON Toronto, Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. <clears throat> Nama Om Vishnu Padaya Krishna Prasthaya Bhutale Srimate Bhaktivedanta Swaminathi Namine Namaste Saraswati Deve Gaurabhan Pracharine Nirvise Sasuna Bhati Pratapati So this is my great pleasure this evening to be with all of you maybe for you it must be the morning our, our evening time. And uh, today I have opportunity to glorify Lord Baladev, the ego of Balaram Chaturdasi, the Balaram Purnima, today Chaturdasi, tomorrow Purnima, the auspicious appearance of Lord Balaram. So Balaram or Baladev, has a very important role to play in our life, especially in our devotional life. The Balaram, who appeared in Nityananda, Brajanda Nandana Jai Satsuta Hala Se Balaram Hala Nitai. So, this is Adi Guru. All our spiritual masters are a personification, manifestation of mercy of Baladev. 
So Darsha is the Bala De, who after Nityananda, <coughs> our Acharya is saying, the Nitai Karuna Habe Tabe Praja Radha Krishna Pabe. Nitai Karuna Habe. Oh, that the mercy of Nityananda Balaram, we can't reach uh, Krishna. So Balaram is very important tattva because simultaneously Balaram is Guru tattva, he belongs to Sakha tattva, he is a friend to Krishna, playing with Krishna, and Dasa tattva, he is serving Krishna as a servant also. Even his elder brother, what you are serving with Krishna is the Akala, Ishwara, Krishna, or Subhritya. Only Krishna is the topmost controller, and all are Vritya servant, including Balaram, Nanda, Jasada, everybody. Does not matter what kind of relationship with Krishna, everyone's job is to serve Krishna. In this way, Balaram has very important role, especially that's why his name is Baladev. Baladev, Bala means the strength, Deva means gifts. So Balaram, Baladev, he gives us strength in our devotional life. And once I heard Balaram is carrying the plow, so he used this plow for cultivating the field of her heart by this plow, where the bhakti seed will be planted. Brahmanda Brahmite Kona Bhagavan Ji Guru Krishna Prasadapai Bhakti Lata means. So Balade will plow the field of her heart. Then Krishna will lay plant the seed of bhakti. So in this way, Balaram has very important role in the devotional life. And Balaram <coughs> is everything. Everything that what we see, everything is manifestation of Balaram. Krishna, of course, is the Parameshwar, Paratapar Parameshwar. Krishna's first manifestation is Balaram. So nothing happens without the Balaram. Everything is expansion of Balaram only. So thus, Balaram Tattva in general also very, very important. So Chaitanya Charitamrita describing how everything is Balaram. You see, I'll describe you Balaram and his expansion. Balaram is there in Vrindavan, where he is known as Balaram. The same Balaram, he is there in Dwaraka. There he is known as Mula Sankarsan. And Krishna in Dwaraka known as Vasudeva. So first Chaturbhiha, Vasudeva, Sankarsan, Pradyumna, Anidha. So there, he is there in Dwaraka. That manifests the second Chaturbhya in Vaikuntha. Vasudeva Mahasankarsan Pradyumna Aniruddha. So here we see how Balaram is there in Vrindavan as Baladev. His expansion is there in Dwaraka. Mula Sankarsana, then he is there in Vaikuntha as a Mahasankarsana. And Balaram is the root cause of all cosmic manifestation. Because from Balaram, from expansion of Balaram, from Mahasankarsana, manifests Mahavishnu, known as Garbhadaksa Vishnu. The first manifestation of Purusha Avatar. So from Garbhat Mahavishnu, Karanadaksai Vishnu, who is lying in Kajal Vastan, unlimited universes manifests. 
and this Mahavishnu enters into each universe as Garbhata Gisai Vishnu, that is second Purusha Hata. Then Garbhata Gisai Vishnu manifests as Kirodha Gisai Vishnu, that Kirodha Gisai Vishnu who is present within each atom, each atom and also within each a living entity's heart also. So from this we understand how everything is expansion of Balaram. Then finally Balaram appears as Ananta Sesa, who is holding the universe on his head. Very powerful personality, Ananta Sesa, very interesting name he has. It's Sesa, Sesa means end. The last manifestation of Balaram is Sesa. But Sesa is Ananta. Complete opposite qualities he has. It's Ananta, endless. Ananta, Sesa, and end. So I wanted to mention this to understand the Balarams elevated position that how everything is Balaram, everything rests upon Balaram, not this material world. Krishna also takes rests on Balaram. Balaram manifests as Sajja, Ved, Asan, Lati. So Balaram is Asrai, giving Asrai to everybody. By his desire, material world and spiritual world manifests because he has Kriya Shakti. Vrindavan Krishna, son of Nanda Maharaj, he has Ichha Shakti. He desires. That's it. Krishna has no other business. Krishna is not doing anything. All he is doing is desires. To me, Sarve Sureshara Vrindra Kumar, Tomar Ichai Vishwar Vidana Sangha. You are Ishwar controller of all controllers. Just by sweet will, everything manifested and annihilated. Sridhana Sangha. Then when Krishna desires, then there is Vasudeva. Vasudeva is a jnana sakti. That's why we chant before giving class Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya. So Krishna has Ichha Shakti, Vasudeva has Jnana Shakti, and Balaram Sankarsan has Kriya Shakti. <coughs> All activities take place because of <coughs> Sankarsan. Everything manifests. <coughs> Everything created because of Balaram. And uh, when everything annihilated, all the rests within Balaram in his manifestation as Sankarsan. So in this way, if we analyze, then we find that how everything is Balaram. Hmm? is all pervading Paramatma, that is Balaram. He is the creator as Vishnu, that is Balaram. And Sanghar, also Balaram has player, his, very, his mood is very Rudra Bhav also. So in every respect, Balaram is very important and First expansion of Krishna, starting from Gulag Vrindavan, all the way up to here, in everywhere, Gulag Vrindavan, Balaram, Dwaraka Mula Sankarsan, Vaikunta Mahasankarsan, then Mahavishnu, Garbhadaksha Vishnu, Kirdaksha Vishnu, 
and Ananda Sesha. So these are the great glories of uh, Lord Ram. So Balaram, the whole goal of Vrindavan is resting also upon Balaram. That's why he is known as uh, Baladev, uh, very powerful personality. And uh, <coughs> Balaram's appearance on this earthly planet also very interesting and very mysterious also. How he was attracted from the womb of Devaki and put into the womb of Mother Rohini, his eternal mother, who has attracted his Akarsana. That's why his name is Sankarsana. Samyak Akarsana. So Krishna gave special instructions to Yogamaya. Gatha Devi Brajam Bhadre, Gopa Gobi Alankritam, Ruhini Vasudavasya Bharjaste Nandagopule, Annastra Kansa Pigna Vivaresu Vasanti. So here Krishna instructing to Yogamaya, Gatha Devi Brajam Bhadre, all auspiciousness to you. Krishna saying, all auspiciousness to you. Because you have to do a very important job, very difficult job. One who is carrying me, one who is carrying the whole Golak Vrindavan, everything, you have to carry him very carefully. From the womb of Devaki to the womb of Rohini. So Krishna instructed Gatsha Devi, oh Devi, please go. Go where? Na gopa gobi alankritam. Go to Vrindavan. Hmm. There you will see that place, gopa gopi, and all the gavis, cows, that place is decorated with these great entities. That place is very beautiful. And what do you do? Rohini Basudevasya. Bharjasta Nanda Gokule, that Nanda Gokul, Gokul Dham, that wife of Vasudeva, she is there along with Annascha Kansa Samvigna, being tortured by Kansa, they are all staying there incognito, Vibare Subhastihi, they are living there in this solitary place. Vasudeva, but 13 wives, when Kansa gave trouble like this, so Vasudev sent other Devaki and Vasudev were arrested by Kansa. Kansa and Devaki, their brother and sister, but they are not, they have not taken birth from the same person. Ugrasen and Devaka, the two brothers. Devaka is elder brother, Ugrasen is younger brother. Devaka and Ugrasen. And those both, they are son of uh, Surasena. Surasena has two sons, Devaka and Ugrasen. So Ugrasena's son is Kansa. Devaki's son is Devaka's son is Devaki. That's it, they're both brother and sister. And Surasena, he was the son of Devamidha. Devamidha are two wives. One from Chatriya, Bansa Khatriya dynasty, another from Vaisya. So the Vaisya, son took birth from the wife, which from Vaisya family, he became Parjana Maharaj. And Parjana Maharaj had five sons, one of those is Nanda Maharaj. Then the other wife, 
Devamurda, who came from Chetira family, she had this son called Surasena. From Surasena, this Devaka and Ugrasena took birth. So Ugrasena, son was Kansal. Devaka son was the daughter of Devaki, the other brother and sister. The point is, Ugrasan is great devotee of the Lord, but Kansu is very demoniac in nature because actually he is son of a demon. Drumila, that is a demon called Drumila. That is a Kansu is known as Drumila Nandana. He is not the real son of Ugrasan. There is a demon, Drumila, by force or some other. He united with his wife of Ugrasana, and that is how the concept uh, took birth. So you know the story, how he was carrying Devaki Vasudev, then Sunyavani came, then they were arrested, put into jail, but Devaki, some or other, Vasudev saved Devaki's life. Promising concept that each child take birth, I will give it to you. You kill all my children, but don't kill uh, Devaki. This, he promised like this, and he was such a truthful personality. When the first child took birth, his name he gave Kirtima. And voluntarily, he took that son to Kansa. Please take the son and you kill. And Kansa fell in very great affection with that small baby, his nephew. Then he had some mercy upon this baby. He developed some mercy. Then he said, no, 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 I will not kill this boy. This boy is not the cause of my death. Your eighth son is cause of my death. Please take him back. But Vasudeva was not happy. Vasudeva was not happy because Vasudeva knows the nature of Kansa, the demonic nature of Kansa. Anytime he may change his mind, so he was not such villain. Then he, Kansa again was pursued by Narad Muni. So the demigods they became very worried. If Kamsa develops good qualities like this, then the Lord will not come to kill him. So we have to do something. So he becomes more heinous. So the Lord will come quickly to um, establish dharma on the earthly planet. So they said Narathmani, who pursued Kamsa, not to be possible upon any of these children. Narathmani said, I saw in Sumeru mountain there is a meeting going on among the demigods, devatas, they are all planning to take birth in this family. But any one of them could be Krishna. The concept being a demonic nature person, he said, yes. Then he started killing one after another, one after another. And Vasudeva was so eager that Krishna will appear as his Eighth child, every year, the book is giving birth to one child. And Kansu was killing like this six sons of the book of Vasudev, they're killed. They all are known as Sat Garbhasura. Six Garbhasura, Garbha means embryo, also means demon, demons. Sat Garbhasura. But Krishna will come as eighth son. So, Balaram is eternal son of Rohini. Actually, all this father, mother of Supreme Personality of Godhead, Devaki, Vasudev, Nanda, Dusada, they come from spiritual world. Because nobody can become father, mother of Krishna. Father, mother of Krishna, 
the personification transformation of sandini shakti just like radha rani transformation personification of pladini shakti pleasure giving potency so the father mother who can carry the supreme personality of godhead supreme personality of godhead can be carried by himself only that's why his swarup shakti antaranga shakti sandhinya shakti manifests as father mother that eternally that is spiritual work devaki vasudev nanda jasoda so when krishna comes to this material world he does not accept any lady any ordinary lady as his mother krishna does not accept any special lady one cannot become father mother by doing some punya work by doing some austerities no they are not belongs to tarasta shakti marginal potency they are from swarup shakti so in this way nanda jasada devaki vasudev they are in spiritual world eternally as mother of krishna and rohini is there also mother of balara only difference is in spiritual world then never the birth to krishna or balara eternally krishna balara is there and rohini devaki they are there they never the birth there but when krishna balara has to come to this material world then they bring their mother here also so thus rohini is eternal mother of lord balara so now a special job has to be done what that job has to be done in that womb of mother devaki in who is this sat garbhasura appeared how that place lord krishna will appear this question arises of course one sense question arises that place is contaminated all these demons they came in that womb actually sarvam idam khal brahma but krishna nothing is contaminated everything is pure but still balaram sesha aksha sesha aksha balaram he came to make a suitable place where krishna will appear so in this way the six children shat garbhasura they have their previous life histories also two three life previous life histories are there so then lord balaram <coughs> so that is what krishna explaining atha aham ansa bhagena devya putrata subhe o yoga maya all aspicious yoga maya i will appear that ansa bhaga in my ansa i will appear devakta pratan subhe as son of devaki prakshamitam jasodayam nanda patnam hisachi so you also appear there as daughter of jasoda nanda so krishna instructed yoga maya that uh, i will appear uh, from the womb of devaki and you appear from the womb of yasoda then he is saying that you have to do a very difficult job you have to carry this balaram garbha shankar natam bai prahu sankarsanam bhuvi ramaiti lok ramanat balabhadram bala utsrayat is balabhadra the lok ramanat gives lots of pleasure to all the living entities and also is very powerful 
the name will be sankarsan because akarsana you will akarsa you will uh, attract him transfer him to the womb of devaki to the womb of rohini so in this way krishna lord krishna blessed yagamaya to do this job so balaram appeared first in the womb of devaki though his eternal mother is rohini so rohini devi was transferred to nandagar uh, to gokula one night midnight vasudev arranged a horse uh, putting rohini on top of the horse he sent her to uh, to gokul under the care of nanda maharaj so rohini devi was staying there and here we see on the seventh month so devaki and miscarriage took place so everybody in braj they are very worried they are lamenting that devaki's seventh garbha was miscarriage ah uh, but kansa came to know this kansa after each child take birth he used to go and kill them but seven child did not take birth so everyone would thought this miscarriage took place and kansa started laugh he was very proud this demoniac nature person he laughed so just see devaki's eighth son will kill me how can he kill me the seventh one is so scared out of fear of me he could not come out of the womb he died inside the womb itself so he is thinking like that but krishna is the greatest cheater among all cheaters so how he cheated kansa kansa thinking the big son has died inside the womb and he does not know what is happening behind the scene actually yogamaya transferred balaram from the womb of devaki to the womb of rohini so balaram to birth in nanda baba's house and he is growing one year i think but when it took birth he remained as dumb as if he can't hear anything he can't listen anything but they observed when krishna was within the womb of mother yashoda and that time mother dasha will pick up baby balram on his on her lap the balram will feel very jubilant because krishna is there in the womb of mother yashoda everybody thinks all of india all the hindus that krishna took birth from devaki but chaitanya mahaprabhu and his followers have described very nicely on the basis of the scriptures how krishna took birth simultaneously from the womb of devaki as vasudeva krishna and from womb of mother jashoda as nanda nandan krishna and mother jashoda gave birth she gave birth to a boy and the girl baby boy baby girl the baby girl yogamaya who was carried by vasudeva to non to kansa's prison house and 
the real Krishna had taken birth from the womb of Mother Yashoda. When Vasudeva brought baby Krishna from conscious prison house, Vasudeva Krishna, then Vasudeva Krishna he merged into Nanda Nanda Krishna. But nobody knew all these things happened. How Balaram was transferred by Yogamaya from the womb of Devaki to the womb of Rohini. And Krishna was transferred from the lap of Devaki onto the lap of Mother Yasoda. Then that Krishna Maharaj and the became one Krishna. So nobody understood what happened behind this scene. In this way, Krishna's appearance and Balaram's appearance, these are very mysterious. Abhajanting Mangudha Manusim Tanumasritam Parambhavam Ajanata Mamabhutta Maheshwaram. The foolish people cannot understand the transcendental nature of appearance of the Supreme Personality of Godhead. Abhajanating Mangudha. Because he is not visible to everybody. Naham Prakasa Sarvasya Yogamaya Samavritam. Lord is covered by Yogamaya. So, today, tomorrow, we'll celebrate appearance of Lord Balaram. But this is how the Lord appeared from the womb of Rohini. So, what I was telling, uh, when he appeared, he remained dumb. But I have read whenever Mother Jasoda would pick up baby Balaram, because in her womb Krishna is there, so Balaram would look very jubilant. Hmm. So Balaram's the appearance of Supreme Personal Godhead, according to scriptures, which all the Vedic letters, Veda, Special describes Param Brahma as Nirakar. So that is many, many confusion. If Bhagavan is Nirakar, how can he take birth? So we have to establish that Bhagavan is not Nirakar. He has a form. So then Bhagavan's appearance in this material world, his birth in this material world, what is the appearance? His appearance is not like he, his birth in the material world is not like we take birth. That's a Krishna saying, Dharma karma chame dipyam evam jyogacya tattva taha. One has to understand the appearance and activities of the Supreme Personality of God and in truth, tattva taha. Otherwise, everybody cannot understand. That's why everybody cannot understand. Abhajan thing Mangudha Manusim Tanumasitam Param Bhavam Ajanat Mamabhuta Maheshwaram. So, what is appearance of the Supreme Personality of Godhead? So, according to scripture, the Param Brahm is Aja. Aja means one who does not take birth. No Janama Aja. One who never takes birth. That's why some of the transcendentalists, they argue that Krishna, Rama, Balarama, they all took birth. Shastra says, Parambram is Aja, who that birth? Then how these personalities can be designated as Parambrahma? Because they are taking birth. But Prabhupada replying, this word Aja been applied in the case of the Param Brahma Bhagavan that applies in, to the spiritual world. As I said, in spiritual world, there is never a day that Krishna took birth, Balaram took birth. That's why in the spiritual world, Golak Vrindavan. There are all the sweet pastimes, Rasrila, Dhulunila, all many, many unlimited sweet pastimes. 
But one pastime is not there. That is Janmashtami and Balaram Purnima. They celebrate all other festivals. But we are fortunate in our three planet that we celebrate Janmashtami and Balaram Purnima. But Golak Vrindavan, there is no Janmashtami and Balaram Purnima because they were there never a time. Krishna took birth. Balaram took birth. That's why when Krishna Balaram they prepared to come to this earthly planet. A big line in Golak Vrindavan. Whose term will be this time? They can come and join Lord's pastimes in the Bhavamalila. They can see the Supreme Person of God as the baby Krishna. Radharani also carrying baby Krishna in her lap. There are nice pastimes described in scriptures. But what in Golak Vrindavan, Krishna is always there in Kishwara form. The always Kishwara form is there. But here Lord exhibits special pastimes where you can see the Lord in baby form. So, the Aja means Bhagavan never takes birth in spiritual world. That the Krishna's class clarified this point in Bhagavad Gita. That Ajapisan Abhyatma Bhutanam Isharapisan Prakriti Sangadhistaya Sambhavami Atma Maya. People they have to understand about the, the truths behind the appearance of this Supreme Person of Godhead. Otherwise, they are all bewildered. They cannot accept how he can be Param Brahma. But Bhagavan is who has been recognized by Arjun, Arjun said, Krishna, you are Param Brahma, Param Dhamam, Pavitram, Param Bhavan. Then Krishna said, yes, I am Param Brahma, I am Aja. I have no birth. Aja is an Abhayatma. I mean, Abhayatma. Putana Mishwaram, Ishwar control of all the living countries. I never took, I have no birth, but still I appear. But I appear prakriti from adhisthaya sambhavami atma maya by the help of my internal potency. The yoga maya is the one who will manifest. So as Krishna said, naham prakasa sarvasya yoga maya smabritam. I am completely covered by yoga maya. Nobody can see me. So what is Krishna's appearance means? Appearance means that yoga maya is uncover, uncovered, Krishna. There is a cotton, open in the cotton. So Krishna's pastimes eternally going on. Krishna's two kinds of pastimes. One is Prakatla, another is Aprakatlila. So Krishna Balaram, all his associates eternally having their pastimes in Golak Vrindavan, going for grazing cows, all kinds of things. That is Aprakat Lila, not visible to people in naked eyes in general. But when that pastime is visible here, because the curtain of Yagama is removed, that is called Prakat Lila. So that happens uh, in regular intervals. Then also, the Lord has two kinds of appearance. One is kind, one kind of appearance is Lord appears without the help of father, mother. That is called Advaraka appearance. And sometimes the Supreme Person of Godhead also appears through father, mother. That is called Sadvaraka appearance. Just like we see Maschavata, Kurma, Baraha, they have no father, mother. They just appeared, Baraha they appeared from Brahma's nose. Maschavata appeared, a little bit of water in the palm of that king, Satyavrata king, somebody like that. Then like this, Narasimha Nara appeared for the pillar, no father, mother. Only after Narasimha Bhagavan, then the Lord started to appear 
with the help of father mother from bamana avatar bamana avatar parshuram ram because the narasimha avatar after narasimha dev killed hiranyakashipu he placed prahlad maharaj on his lap very affectionately narasimha bhagwan embracing prahlad maharaj kissing his head licking his body he is enjoying by putting prahlad maharaj on his lap narasimha bhagwan then at one point narasimha maharaj maharaj narasimha bhagwan he thought to himself by placing prahlad i am deriving so much pleasure but what kind of pleasure prahlad deriving by sitting on my lap that he wanted to know that what is what he is enjoying by sitting on my lap i don't know because because of that narasim bhagwan has no father mother he is appearing with pillar so he is appearing with the help of his father mother so next he developed this desire then hence when i come to this material world if i come with help of my father mother then i can also enjoy like prahlad maharaj as he sitting on my lap and enjoying that kind of enjoyment i can derive also if i appear uh, with my father mother so who can be my father mother so he has to bring his father mother from spiritual world shri krishna chaitanya prabhu divya daya kari sa parshad shiva dhama sah avatari when the lord comes from the spiritual world he brings all his associates parshad and also his dhama because param brahma will not cross this material world so he comes with dhama manifests here also so in this way um, the lord appearance has been described when we have to understand janma karma tamme divya what is divya what is the transcendental nature of the appearance of the supreme personal of god hai transcendental to what transcendental to three modes of material nature so that is very very important subject people have to understand otherwise they think oh he just took birth and krishna has recognized that he is saying abajanadin mang mode manusim tanumasritam when i appear in human form people that deride me they don't know my transcendental nature so balaram and krishna appeared in vrindavan under many sweet pastimes krishna balaram with his friends giving pleasure to his friends and as krishna has one group of gopis he was having rasa dance balaram also he has a set of gopis he also did rasa dance in vrindavan and of course whenever krishna would go for grazing cows always mother yashoda would tell balaram to take nice care of krishna krishna killed so many demons but he gave opportunity to balaram to kill one or two demons like dhenukasur dhenukas dhenukasur one or two mars then krishna balaram from gokul vrindavan from gokul they came to vrindavan nandagaon and when krishna was 11 years Six months they transferred to Mathura. Twenty-five years old, both Balaram and Krishna they went to Dwaraka. Then other different kinds of pastimes are there. How Balaram taught Gada Dudha and practice how to fight with Gada to Duryodhana. And in this regard, Garuda Sangita. There's a lot of descriptions 
in regards to Balaram. So many pastimes are there also. And when Mahabharata took place, Balaram went on pilgrimage. As you heard, it killed many demons. He came to Mayapur also. As in, a, the demon near Jagannath temple, he killed that place is there called Mayamari. Then also, you know, how Balaram appeared when Sutta Goswami's father, Ramaharsana, was speaking Puranas to Munirishis. When Balaram came, he thought, I am sitting on Vyasasana. Anybody sitting on Vyasasana should not get up. When Bhagavan comes to get up, but Ramaharsana Rishi did not get up. Balaram said, you are so proud. I will kill you. Balaram, not necessary to fight with Ramaharsan or kill him with his gada, club, mace. But all he did, he picked up a grass and touched him and he's dead. Then after that, he put to Sutta Goswami, whose name is Ugasrava. He is very expert in hearing. Put him as the speaker of Puranas. Then Sutta Goswami described about Simad Bhagavatam. So in this way, there is also a description how when Balaram was in Dwaraka, he went to he went back to Vrindavan for two months to see Nanda Yasoda and his beloved gopis and had rasa, rasa dance also there. So these are the different aspects of Balaram. Uh, briefly, uh, I described to you. So I'd like to thank all of you to give, for giving me opportunity on this auspicious time, just before the day of appearance of Balaram. In the course of discussion, I could meditate on different aspects of appearance of Lord Balaram to purify myself. Thank you so much. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Awesome. Hare Krishna Maharaj, thank you so much. Uh, we have a few questions. Uh, if you have time, uh, some time. Is that okay? Yes. Okay. Yeah. So Maharaj, uh, you mentioned in the end the, the pastime of uh, Roma Harshan and how Lord Balram gets angry and just kills him with a blade of grass. And similarly, even when he goes to Vrindavan, uh, he gets uh, angry with the, uh, the river Yamuna, Yamuna River and says, I'm going to plow you down. So in different pastimes, Lord Balram exhibited uh, anger. So how do we understand uh, the anger that's displayed by Lord Balram and how do we, you know, use that? Like, how do we use that example in displaying anger in Krishna consciousness? <laughs> well, Krishna consciousness, anger is a... You see, the Lord's anger is for our benefit. When the Lord becomes angry, he does something, then he purifies us. Lord's anger and our anger is not the same because our anger arises Kama is a Kudhesa Rajaguna Samudhava. Our, our anger arises from Rajaguna, the Supreme Personality of Godhead, is Trigunatit. His anger is not arising from Rajaguna. So, his anger also brings auspiciousness uh, to this earthly planet. So, Lord Balaram has to have some uh, angry mood like that. It's part of destruction because that's why Shankar Bhagavan, he meditates upon Shankar son who annihilates uh, his material creation. So that's why Lord has sometimes, Lord Balaram, he exits uh, this anger. Uh, and they also, many times you have heard, he drinks Baruni, <laughs> a Baruni drug. Also, that pastimes is there also. So Lord uh, has this special unique nature for the benefit of the living entities. He gives his blessings by becoming angry, by Revealing his anger more. Any other question? That was very nice to differentiate our anger versus 
the Lord's anger and we should not take the Lord's anger so lightly. So thank you. There is another question. Uh, it is the Lord's, anger, Lord's anger should not be took as our anger because our anger arises from more passion. The Lord is tribunative that is not arising from more passion. That is important. Uh, there is a question about uh, Nandan Nandan Krishna, Devanandan Krishna. When uh, Vasudev Nandan Krishna fused with Nandan Nandan Krishna once he entered Vrunda, the question uh, is right to say that Nandan Krishna never left Vrindavan. You are Very breaking. Good. Okay, the question is is it right to say? That Nanda Nandan Krishna never left Vrindavan. Yes, of course, he never left Vrindavan. <laughs> Instead, he never left Padam Yagam Nagats Vrindavana Paritaja Padam Yagam Nagats. He is there. Actually, when Brother Gopika met Krishna, they are crying, Why you left us? Krishna said, I, am, I do not leave you. I meet you every day. But because externally you saw, I went to Mathura, you are thinking I have left you. And that is also to give a feeling of separation in the loving relationship. The two kinds of mood, one is union, milan, and that is the separation, vipralamba or biraha. So in loving subject matter, the biraha is greater or separation is greater than union. So to give that kind of test, to his devotees, sometimes supreme personal to Godhead, he creates this kind of pastimes as if he has been separated, but he never goes out of Vrindavan, he is always there. And so Maharaj, when uh, Krishna is showing fear, when Mother Yashoda runs after him, he is fearful. And on the other side, there are pastimes when he is killing dem demons and they are also fearful of Krishna. So. The question, uh, uh, the question that is being asked is, in Damodar Leela, when Krishna got afraid of Mother Yashoda, was that Nanda Nandan Krishna? And when he killed demon, was that Vasudeva Nandan Krishna? Yes, that is very obvious. That is very obvious. You see, this Vasudeva Krishna was brought from Mathura, then that Krishna was to Nanda Nandan Krishna. The point is, why all this Natak is happening? So the purpose is the Nandana Krishna is never engaged in killing demons. The Paritana, Sadhana, Vinasasa, Dushka Dharma Sastra, none of these are his business. His only business is to play on flute and um, play with the, the cowherd girls and boys. That's his, his managing director, you know. The managers, they do the job. So that's why this Vasudha Krishna, uh, who, through whom, all these demons they are killed. Nanda Nandan Krishna is not part of that. So when Akura took Krishna Balaram, and then Akura is taking bath, he saw Krishna Balaram transformed to Vishnu. But they said that is when that Krishna stayed in Vrindavan and Vasudev Krishna went to back to Mathura. Krishna stayed within the heart of the gopis, hiding there. And uh, Mother Jasoda finding raging stick, Krishna became very scared. That is not a show. He is really feeling scared because with that he has to exhibit his feeling of his heart to his mother to release the vassal of our parental loving relationship. So he enjoyed. The point is when demons they are scared they really scared. But Krishna scared, but he enjoyed being scared. Because he put into that position um, by the help of Yogamaya so that he will enjoy the Bhastala Rasa. That gives pleasure to uh, his parents also. It's like that. Thank you, Maharaj. That was nice. And the last question here I have is. Uh, uh, about the uh, Brahma Vimohan Leela, where Jagannath Mishra Prabhu is asking, uh, Lord Balram did not know about Krishna duplicating the stolen cowherd boys and calves. 
was that due to the yoga maya potency because he should have uh, because he's the uh, his sandhini potency should have he should have known that uh, this is actually krishna's pastime yeah that that could be one reason i can speculate on that <laughs> that could be one reason he did not know that all of sudden he observed what is wrong how uh, this is happening and why the cows are so affectionate to grown up calves and then why before all these gopis they used to love krishna so much now it has no love this love their own children and mark then after some time immediately understood so that we have seen sometimes <clears throat> sometimes krishna also becomes puzzled what is going on and next moment he understands everything so it could be the role of yogamaya okay hare krishna yes maharaj thank you so much uh thank you can thank you so much for uh, uh giving this wonderful class just one last uh, question what should we be praying to balram tomorrow we should pray balram to give us some ball ball means strength <laughs> Uh, he, he is everything for us. Oh, that him we can't move forward. Uh, he has to, he has to cultivate plow, the field of our heart, so that the bhakti, the seeds can grow nicely. So we take shelter as a lotus feet. Nidai karuna have brother Radha Krishna have. So we pray that we develop a uh, strong, loving relationship. devotion unto the lotus feet of krishna by his blessings we will get that thank you so much maharaj thank you so much for this wonderful class and talking to us from mayapur and we hope that uh, we can see you soon again in toronto uh, please uh, send us your blessings and pray for our community tomorrow on the occasion of balram uh, appearance that we can serve prabhupad uh, sincerely so thank you very much Uh, and we hope to see you soon hare krishna hare krishna hari bol eta ka ka bandh kar so i would also like to thank you all thank all the uh, wonderful audience that uh, joined our program in the morning it's really uh, very uh, nice to see everybody here in the morning and don't forget to log in at 5 o'clock again uh, where we will be starting our special series the bhadra purnima series where we will be showcasing the shrimad bhagavatam and the stories from shrimad bhagavatam and today will be our first uh, uh session with uh, of the purnima uh, and so is in us again 5 o'clock tonight program the program will be celebrated at the temple Uh, at five o'clock, starting at six o'clock in the evening, uh, and then very special deities, um, and there will be a class given by His Holiness Bhakti Mark Swami. So thank you everybody, Hare Krishna, and.